A bipartisan group of lawmakers is trying to inch closer to an agreement on a federal coronavirus relief package. But right now, it does not include cash payments like the one sent to more than 160 million Americans earlier this year. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales reports. Eric? Well, the proposed deal focuses on unemployment benefits and aid to businesses directly, but falls short for providing stimulus checks to individuals. Business owners that I spoke with say that they are just hoping Congress comes up with a deal before they have to close their doors for good. Catholic business owner Jimmy Cerrito says he used funds from the first round of the Paycheck Protection Program to keep his tavern doors open. As time goes by, the money that they gave, it just starts disappearing and then you get back into credit card debt and get behind on things. But that money has run out. Meanwhile, the stalemate on Capitol Hill continues. While Democrats hold the Paycheck Protection Program hostage over controversial state government bailouts, family businesses are closing their doors. A bipartisan group of lawmakers has proposed a deal that includes giving the unemployed $300 more a week for 16 weeks, $300 billion in aid for small businesses, and a continued pause on federal student loan payments through the end of April. But the plan doesn't include stimulus checks. We need a large, bold program to stimulate the economy, help people out of the conditions they're in, but keep the economy going for a long period of time. If no deal is reached, Republican Senator Josh Hawley plans to introduce a separate bill to provide direct payments to Americans. $1,200 for individuals and $2,400 for couples and $500 for every child, similar to what was passed back in March. Congress is trying to get something passed soon because aid programs that were approved in March, including jobless assistance measures and eviction protections, expire before the end of the year. Cerrito and other business owners continue to pray. We've really seen a loss of business the last three, four weeks as the, you know, the COVID cases have gone up. Uh, so, yes, we could definitely, we, we need it. The House did pass a short-term funding bill yesterday. That'll prevent a government shutdown until December 18th and give more time to come up with some sort of COVID relief. By the way, that stopgap bill will now head to the Senate, where it is expected to pass. Reporting from the Capitol, Eric Rosales, EWTN News Nightly.